Hello, card floppers. Welcome to One Pack Friends, and we reopen One Pack of Trading Cards. And it is the 600th episode. Yay! Surprised we made it this far. There was a little doubt, like, halfway through, but here we are, 600th episode. And we're going... And also, funnily enough, it is also the 10th anniversary? Hold on, I got it written down here. I completely forgot. Um, let's see here. It is the 25th anniversary, there we go, of the release of 6th edition. So, double whammy, we're going to go celebrate the 6th edition and 600 episode by looking at a pack of classic 6th edition. Why is it classic? Because they know they really messed up after his edition, so they needed another base edition. Um, and it didn't get very far because it was it was easy to open. <sighs> now, as I prefaced before, the base they were still doing white border on the base set, so you might see some weird things. All right, starting off with getting rid of this wrapper. Uh, yeah, I don't think they had, uh, yep, 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 okay, we're gonna have to do it that way. Alright. Yeah, it's been so long, I haven't even... Still got that classic border, because it was classic. Remove soul! One in a blue instant counter-target creature spell. Oh, uh, here we go. Always loved these, but never could pronounce the name. Kadorian Dead. Single black skeleton 3 1. When Kadorian Dead inches, comes into play, sacrifice a creature. Pay a single black, regenerate Kadorian Dead. Now, regenerate back then was, I believe, you had to pay it and they put it back on the top of your deck instead of what the regeneration thing is now, which is they tap and remove all damage. So, yeah, that was fun. Especially, you know, three power. Oof. Stalking Tiger. Three and a green, Tiger. Three, three, Stalking Tiger can't be blocked by more than one creature each combat. Which is now known as Menace. So. Raise Dead. Looks like they're having a hell of a party. Single Black Sorcery, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. The earth cannot hold that which magic commands. Standing troops. Well, I mean, that one's kind of kneeling, so... Uh, two and a white soldier. One four. That's pretty good. Attacking do doesn't cause standing troops to tap. Now known as vigilance. So. Raging goblin. Single red goblin. One one. Haste. This creature may attack and tap. The turn it comes into play. It comes in. It comes under your control. Because you know he's mad. Feral shadow. Well, you know if it would come in and let me feed it, it wouldn't be feral. Leash. Seriously. Two in a black night stalker. This is when they still had specialty names and not just. I think the oracle text probably calls it just. Spirit or something. 2 1 with flying. Mere folk of the pure pearl trident. That's a classic. I mean, yeah, the whole thing's classic, but single blue mere folk, 1 1 with flavor text. All mere folk are humans with fins, or all humans mere folk with feet. I ain't, yeah, I ain't getting into that one. Grizzly bars. One in a green bar. 2-2 two, two with flavor text. Disenchant. A perennial... Not perennial. A uh, staple of the game. Then and now. One in a white instant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Balduvian Barbarians. Papa. Barbarian, papa, barbarians. 
Uh, one and uh, one red red barbarian three two with flavor text. Not much going on with this. Goblin recruiter. Hey, you want to be a goblin? Boom, there's your dude. Uh, one and a red goblin, 1-1. One, one. When goblin recruiter comes into play, search your library for any number of goblin cards you choose, reveal those cards, then shuffle your library and put them on top of it in any order you choose. So, that was very big for goblin decks back in the day. Insight. Ah, it's Gerard. One of the poster child, the poster child for Magic the Gathering back in the late '90s, when they started making a coherent story, he was captain of the original Weatherlight. He died. <laughs> He's dead now. Uh, doing a blue enchantment. Whenever one of your opponents plays a green spell, you draw a card. Yes, back in the day, they had magic bullets. So. Abysmal, abyssal, not abysmal, abyssal, Spectre, two black black Spectre, two three, flying, and, uh, it's my enemy, whenever abyss, abyssal Spectre deals damage to a player, that player chooses and discards a card from his or her hand, and the rare is Disrupting Scepter, it's a three drop artifact, three tap, Target player chooses and discards a card from his or her hand. Play this ability only during your turn. Well, that's kind of a... Not much going on there. Alright. Let's do the rundown real quick. Alright, sturdy enough. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling this. I, that's kind of a crappy rare. You gotta pay three, tap, and then they choose and discard a card. So, mm, not feeling it. This one, on the other hand, I am feeling, especially since this is flying. This was a base set, so it didn't really do much. I don't think Reach was introduced until, like, much later. So, but, yeah. So, dealing damage, and then they have to discard for free, is a better card. Uh, this is a side deck card. Like I said, magic bullet situation. Uh, early 90s, late... T uh, early <laughs> early 90s. Uh, late 90s, early 2000s, magic was all about creating these little magic bullet um, cards. They still do, but it's not as obvious as it was back then. So, but yeah, that's a... Uh, I mean, it's only good if your opponent's playing green. Or, you know, green mix. So. Um. That's, like I said, that one's pretty popular in goblin decks. Probably still is. I mean, it, it's an uncommon, so it's relatively cheap. But, just, uh. You know, I do, like I said, it's a good one. I do like it. it Maybe my favorite. Uh. So three drop for three two, not much going on. So meh. Maybe. Uh disenchant. Uh fact that it's a single white means you could like throw it in almost any deck, especially this day and age. Um when like all sorts of mana sources can produce more. Uh, yeah. This is back in the day before gold cards were Standard, so the mixing of deck, mixing of colors were kind of a little stricter. It was weird. Um, this is a well known common card two drop bear, not to be confused with drop bears, which is I don't think they've ever done koalas in Magic the Gathering, which is a shame because you think Dominaria would have an Australia, but oh well, it's a bear, it's good. Um, good, um, good for a first drop, uh, or if you're a mere folk builder, deck builder. Uh, huh, hold on here. 
Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Trying to do a comparison here. So for one more mana, you get this. So between okay, between the two, I'd probably take this one. Because I mean, one more mana gives them plus two defense and gives them things. So, but eh, it's all right. It's pretty uh, pretty steep for a two one flyer. I'll say that, but. <clears throat> Raging Goblin. I'd say one pack combo. I'll get, I'll go ahead and do the one pack combo thing because he play that, put him. And then when you draw him, put him into play, and then he get to that. Uh I guess, uh, this one. Uh, this one's pretty good. Ooh, ninety seven. Yeah, ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, 25th anniversary, 99. So, uh, but yeah, you can see when the framework started at 97. Well, a lot of them kind of recycled art. They just slapped on the new logo. But, uh, yeah, it was a bunch of updates. I do like this. It's a pretty good wall, especially for three. It's in comparison. Um, Ray's Dead. You know, that's a staple of any black deck, so I probably would. You know, it's simple enough. Uh, Stalking Tiger with Proto Menace, so. But, uh, it's 4 drop for 3-3. Three, three. So, mm, if you do with Tigers. Um, actually, that, ooh, there's a good one pack combo. Play Kajorian Dead, uh, Sacrifice Creature, play Raise Dead, bring him back. Boom, there you go. Like I said, this one works, Regenerate works better now. I mean, especially since, you know, 3-1, you know, first turn. You know, you could use it to block just about anything, kill <laughs> about 90% of, well, kill about 90% of what's in this deck. But, um... Yeah, that was always a good one, fun one to have. And, you know, counter spell, but it's just counter target creature spell, so that's always a fun one. Perennial, uh, perennial blue, staple blue, I should say. I don't know why I want to say perennial. I don't know, maybe I have perennials on the brain, which is saying something, because I don't like gardening. In any case, MVP, I'm going to give it to the recruiter. You know, it's, uh, you know, throw it in any goblin deck and boom, there you go. Especially since after all the stuff since 6th edition, uh, goblins are still around. I mean, yes, yeah, skeletons and spirits and whatnot are, but not to the, because, like, grizzly bear will probably just be beast by now. That would just be a beast. Um, that would be... Human barbarian, uh, probably spirit. So, a lot of them got renamed during the great Oracle rebranding, probably around 2000, you know, 2010 or something, around 7th, 8th edition. Is there an 8th edition? Or did they, they just no, yeah, because it went all the way to 10th edition and then they did yearly sets. And then they went the Madden route and annoyed everyone. And then they stopped entirely. So now there's no jumping on point, because fuck you. In any case, that is Magic 6th Edition for the 6th on this episode. I'd like to thank everyone who got me to this point. Uh, you know, all the businesses that sponsored me along the way. Not very many, but... Uh, and all of you for watching. If you made it this far, congratulations. Uh, if this is your first video, well, hell of a time to step in, stop by, but, uh, I got like 600 other videos. Watch to your heart's content. I got Magic, I got Pokemon, I got Yu-Gi-Oh! somewhere. New games, old games, weird games, and also other trading card stuff. So, here's to, well, 
Uh, well, I'd say 600 more, but uh, we'll find out. I will see you tomorrow. Have a frenzy-tastic day.